Uh, the Jewish History Museum in Tucson is speaking out against violence, racism, and white nationalism today. The director saying the Holocaust memory is a call to action. It comes in light of the shooting in El Paso and other politically motivated acts of violence. Nine on your side's Brian Brennan was there, and Brian, it was an emotional event, I'm sure. Yes, it was. The director began with the history of not Nazi ideology and oppression, spoke about modern day hate crimes, and ended with a call to action against this nation's current immigration policies. Two mass shootings within hours of each other. So yesterday was Tisha B'Av. It's a day of mourning in the Jewish calendar. Jewish History Museum Executive Director Brian Davis says there was a lot to mourn. He called the El Paso shooting one of the nation's deadliest hate crimes and remembered Charlottesville just two years ago this week. Hateful words also evolve and develop into action. And we can see that across history. There's no shortage of examples. Davis spoke at the Jewish History Museum evoking the Holocaust memory, which he says is a call to action. Then they went outside to hear the shofar, or ram's horn. Essentially, the shofar is a, it's a call to action, to take personal action. Rabbi Stephanie Aaron says the notes on the horn are a cry for change. We renew ourselves to stop prejudice, to stop bigotry, to stop violence and hatred. Davis says the Jewish people must remember to be civically engaged and to seek justice and to fight the injustice, he says, is happening today. We see images of people kept in cages, um, unsanitary, unsafe conditions. You know, there's numerous examples of ways that people who are seeking asylum in this nation are not being treated with dignity. The event ended with the unveiling of a sign that says no human being is illegal. To come together and transform mourning into community building, solidarity, protest, and action. Brian Brennan, KGUN 9, on your side.